Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use two functions that do essentially the same thing. Uh, that is the tables function, table function, and the x halves function. Okay? So let's say we have a data set which has many levels of many categorical variables. And let's say for for two of these variables, you want to see the count of e at each level of the other variable. So what do I mean? So for example, um, I want to see the region variable, actually let's say the happiness variable by the health variable. Those are two categorical variables, right? Two factor variables. They're not numerical. And these are the ones we're interested in. And I want to see at each level of are you happy, I want to see how many are good health, fair health, and so forth. And let's see some levels of are you happy. We could say levels are, and we see there are one, two, three, four four levels of r underscore happy and there are likewise five levels of health so we're going to get a table which is uh, if we do happy on this end we'll have a table with one two three four rows and one two three four five columns and at each intersection for example we'll see poor and very happy because that's the first level of health and that's the first level of happy and then we'll get a count of how many are there observations for had very happy for their this variable and poor health for this variable this should be interesting actually we can use the tables command to do this and so the first variable we're going to write is going to pretty much show up on the rows I'm pretty sure so that's the are you happy that's going to be on our rows and are you healthy I keep saying are you but because it's just easier to say than underscore and uh, what did I do wrong here tables sorry it's table there we go. So we got the are you happy like we expected on the rows and are you healthy on the columns. So let's check this out. So there's two people that are very unhappy and poor. There, there are have poor health. Sorry. They're very we actually expect that. If you're really poor health, you're gonna probably be unhappy too. But how about you're in excellent health? and you're unhappy. Wow, look, very few people. That's expected too. But how about you're very happy and your health is poor? Wow, that guy's like enlightened or something, right? And how about if you're very happy and excellent? We expect this to be very high. But most actually observations have fallen in this area right here, where you're somewhat happy and you're in fair health. And you would expect that because the majority of people are in somewhat happy and the some majority of people are in fair to good health. Okay? So, actually what we expect. Now you can use the X tabs function to do the same thing. You start with the squiggly. You put the first, first you put the row variable. And then use the plus sign and you do the column variable. By the way, I'm using tab to finish up these variable names. And once you type enough, uh, R can recognize which one you, you're, you want and you can use tab so you don't have to type out the entire name. So anyway, so row variable plus column variable and it starts out with this squiggly, remember, right here, okay? And a plus here. So it's different than the table command. But let's see, it gives us the same thing. Same exact table, right? Except a little bit 
more info here we have a heading for each uh, variable whereas here we it was much cleaner we didn't have that okay but the thing is with this X has variable you can get a lot more uh, flexibility out of this because you once you start adding third variable and so forth you can uh, you can create some more interesting uh, uh, visual tables with this command but either way these actually now are a basis where now you can move into more uh, uh, categorical analysis and you can use these commands like table to define a table say x say a b table a b and then you could do something like a chi square test and do a chi square test of independence and you can see that uh, we reject this we reject the null hypothesis that these two variables are uh, independent of each other right but we're not talking about that here the uh, what we're more interested in here was to make the tables and present the table and X tabs functions so I hope this was helpful be sure to check out my other R videos I go on from here into more advanced stuff and there's also much more basic stuff but all this stuff is very important and very useful so thanks for watching subscribe at the top left of this video and you'll constantly be fed with R tutorials and, and click on our sponsors ads when you come in back that appear on the right of this video because that's what keeps these videos coming to you for free so thanks a lot guys and have a great day